Hey, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mr. Jethro Burns. Yeah. I should confess to something. <laughs> <laughs> Honest officer, she said she was 21. <laughs> it's good to be back at the Adler house. Uh, I haven't been anywhere, but it's good to be back. <laughs> and uh, especially nice to be here with Don Sternberg and uh, John Parrott because it's always nice to be around musicians who are younger than I am. <laughs> it's pretty easy too. <laughs> Tonight I would like to play a program of songs that up to now I've had little or no success with. <laughs> And I've been listening to this bunch out there. I don't think you're going to change it any. <laughs> but you're a great audience. Now, we have an option. I can either stand up here and play, or else we can go up to the Northern Chalet and drink. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's just up to you. Uh, okay. Uh, I've been doing uh, this since I was a baby. That's been a while. Back when I was a baby. Well, nobody's that old. <laughs> but I've always had this thing, uh, no matter how many shows I, I do, I'm always nervous when I get ready to do my first number. And as a result of that, I always mess up my first number. Now, over the years, I have figured out a way to get around that. And that is, I open with my second number. <laughs> and after my nerves have settled down, I go back and then I play my opener. And this has really worked out great. Washburn Mandolin Company has asked me to announce that I am playing a Gibson Mandolin. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Gibson F5L that retails at your better stores for just under $4,000. <laughs> I didn't buy it. <laughs> they gave it to me because I am such a great guy. <laughs> and that I will play it on channel three whenever the opportunity arises. <laughs> okay. Now if you've got a request, feel free to just holler up and say, Jethro, how about playing this for me? And chances are I will. Or I won't. <laughs> no, I'd really, I'll play it if I know it. Later on I'm going to have John and Don come out here and we're going to play you some rare and beautiful stuff that I don't know what is. <laughs> but they're back there now thinking, gee, Jethro said I'm going to play something rare and beautiful, so let's think of something. <laughs>
like the jacket. Is that nice? <laughs> <laughs> Came home last night and found it hanging over a chair. <laughs> it fit too. It fit pretty good, so why make waves? You know? <laughs> That's a hell of a way to make a living. Isn't it? <laughs> but you know, I know entertainers that will come out on the stage and say, I don't have to do this for a living. I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> and if you think that don't take nerve, <laughs> pure genius. Okay, Arkansas Traveler. spend 22 cents to tell you we owe you 20 cents. <laughs> funny, you know, facts aren't funny. But what do you want to hear? Ladies of Tramp. Ladies of Tramp. Let's wait till Don gets out here. We played that one yesterday. You know, tonight all these people are missing Wizard of Oz on TV. Come and see you. Really? Can you play Over the Rainbow? Sure, I'll play it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play Some Horrors Over the Rainbow. <laughs> That's a good tune. Y'all like that? I hope so, because we sure as hell are going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy, I feel good tonight. I should. I've been working on it all afternoon. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, you only go through this old world once, but if you work it right, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> My doctor's been telling me, he said, Jethro, quit drinking, and I finally done something that I've been wanting to do for years. I got a new doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got to look at it this way. You couldn't do this on an empty stomach. <laughs> no way. Over the rainbow.
see if we can't get John Perry and Don Sternberg out here. Here they come now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boss. Good to see you. Good to see you. There's my man. Jeffo. Jeffo. <laughs> okay. Now I'll say what you did about me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice thing about being a headliner. <laughs> <laughs> started right together. <laughs> That's where they never ended together. <laughs> All right. Everybody got a note? Okay. Hop, two, three, and... <laughs> about as low down on the totem pole as you can get. And this, <laughs> this title fits it perfectly. It says, what am I here for? <laughs> One, two, three, play.
your photos. It's hot tonight. Did you really? You mean we've got to do it all over now? That's what prosperity does when you have more than one pig, you get confused. <laughs> I just have this one pig and I just use it. Of course, if times get hard, I can always go to these. <laughs> I carry them around because I get lost a lot. And what happens, I just leave a trail of these. <laughs> It's funny, no matter how I lose them, it always leads right to the nearest saloon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. Northern Chile, yeah. That's a good place. I saw a bunch of kids up there, and I think that's wonderful because I think the family that drinks together stays together. <laughs> I know mine has stayed together. We don't drink a lot. The hell we don't. <laughs> Here, are we are we being televised? Yep. All right. Uh, let's do. Uh, oh, we have a request for uh, ladies of tram. So I'd like to dedicate this to my ex-wife <laughs> <laughs> and my money. <laughs> I was the, the early Johnny Carson. <laughs> I don't pay alimony, I pay residuals. <laughs> okay, John, you want to take off there, buddy? Yeah. We'll, we'll catch you somewhere.
Sometimes it works. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Oh, Sweet Georgia Brown. Sir? Sweet Georgia Brown. Sweet Georgia Brown. Y'all know how that goes. <laughs> no gal made has got <laughs> I learned this from watching the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very sentimental tune for me because this is one of the <laughs> I have recorded this tune with more bluegrass bands than any living mandolin player. <laughs> Every time they get ready to do Sweet Georgia Brown, they say, let's call old Jethro. <laughs> so I go and I play the same damn chorus on it for every band. <laughs> and they all say, wow. <laughs> and then, about a year later, the record comes out, and they listen to it and say, well, hell, he played that on that other record. <laughs> and I'm sitting down at the bar with the money. I don't really care. <laughs> but I teach this, you know, everybody wants to learn to play Sweet Georgia Brown. So uh, for a time, I used to, I taught in my home, you know, downstairs, where the water is. I <laughs> so about four or five times a day, why people would come and say, "Teach me, sweet Georgia Brown." So I would go and they they would play it. Then an hour later, another guy'd come in and play the same thing. So one time I walked up the stairs and my wife was waiting up against the stairs. And she had a suitcase all packed. Not hers, mine. She says, if I hear a suit one more time, these clothes go over to the Holiday Inn with you closely behind. <laughs> so now I only play Sweet Georgia Brown when I'm out away from home, <clears throat> because I've lived in Holiday Inns. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't knocking it. Beats an army tent, but just barely. Can <laughs> you see it all right? Don't play the lead. You don't. Don't play the lead? I'll play the lead. <laughs> Here we go.
Here, are we, are we being televised? Yep. All right.